The difference between crystal meth and cocaine, what is the big differences between the two? They are both stimulants. One was my drug of choice and the other one to me was extremely scary. It was a very gross drug. Like I stayed away from it and ended up doing it though because uh, you people would rack it up like lines and I'd snort it up. But here's what the big difference is between cocaine and crystal meth are. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. So both being stimulants is, one is man-made, which is gonna be crystal meth, is a synthetic, I mean, it's all chemical made, where cocaine is somewhat natural, it is made from the coca leaf. So that being said, crystal meth is going to last in your system for hours, where cocaine is going to burn through your system in about 15, maybe 20 minutes. So the lasting effect is one of the big differences. Now, when it comes to cocaine, this is where it really sets the two aside, is cocaine, stops the reuptake of dopamine. That means dopamine hits onto your neurotransmitters and it's not getting cleared off and absorbed in and moving through your brain. So it creates this huge euphoria feeling, this good feeling, this feel good feeling. It's the happy, excited chemical that happens in your brain. Now, when it comes to crystal meth though, crystal meth will actually force your brain to create dopamine along with not letting it clear off. So now you're even pounding your brain with more dopamine than what even cocaine is so the um, volume and amount that your brain is producing for one is a lot different than what it is when it comes to cocaine because cocaine your brain isn't producing this absurd amount like it does with meth now also it does result in the crashes the crashes are different when it comes to the cocaine crash or the cocaine drop of whatever you want to call it is you are filled with emptiness there's some depression there you're, you're withdrawn some you are just you don't want to be around anybody but when it comes to crystal meth, now, you're tweaking out now. Now you are, you're, you're hitting with a lot of just paranoia. You're hitting with a lot of just mood swings up and down because of what it's done to your serotonin even. So it's a more extreme, harder on your system, more taxing drop on crystal meth than what it's gonna be on cocaine. And this is the differences between the substances. How it hits your brain is different. And that's where we all get this weird drug of choice. My drug of choice was cocaine way over meth. Meth was not on my radar as a drug that I wanted to do. And how it affected me was very different. When it comes to these though, both are dangerous drugs, man. There's not a safe drug out there. And that's why I share. I mean, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict and I share to educate others because education helps, I think, families out there from what I've learned uh, that are struggling with family members that are addicts. It helps people out there understand addiction maybe a little bit more, but it also helps the addict out there that's suffering and struggling to realize that they're not alone. That's why I love comment sections in a lot of my videos is you see a lot of people just giving support. And the more that we share our experiences, the more that we share what we've been through, the more that nobody feels like they're alone. And that's what it's all about, man. The more that you could feel that you're not alone, that other people understand that you are accepted in a community that it does get better is what it's all about so for the one out there going through it right now i'm proud of you for trying to get sober keep fighting it will happen i do believe in you it's one day at a time